Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm in China with Jethro and we are on Orange Island in what city? Changsha, Hunan Province. Okay. This is the capital of Hunan Province. Uh, we're in the capital of Hunan Province. Yeah, my hometown. Yeah, his hometown. Well, his home province. Yeah, home province. But yeah. you're not from this town. Yeah, I'm not okay, from this okay. town. I, I started in this town. How do you say the name of this particular island in Chinese? Zhou. Okay, that's where we are. Translates to Orange Island. Yeah. So what are we doing here? What are we going to see? Where are we going? Around. Just to go around. Yeah. Okay, let's go around. <laughs> Have you been here before? Yeah. Yeah. This when? is my third time. But you're looking around like you have no idea where yeah, you are no and idea. what you're doing. Maybe four years ago I have been here, so I have no concept at all. It's a cha change and also this is a the national holiday, a lot of people are so crazy. I have no idea. So one thing I noticed is how many people there are here. When you were here before, was there this many people? No. So basically it's because this week was basically the national holiday, uh, what was it called? National Day? Uh, okay, National Day? Yeah, National Day. Something like that? So because of that, people have like a lot of time off, like how much time? A week or something? Yeah. About a week? Of, seven days. Yeah. yeah, seven days of freedom. Mm -hmm. So everyone travels in that time. Yeah, yeah and around the world, not just in China. Yeah, not just in China, but around the world. And, and so I guess many people come here. <laughs> Today is kind of windy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there is a very big foundation. Ah, uh, fountain. Fountain. A water, like a, yeah, water. a water show. Yeah, it's like a really big area. Yeah. Here on the island, they have these trees. They look like grapefruits, but they're super big. And so, according to Google, they're called pomelos. So we've had a little, I don't know, 10-year-old boy follow us for like five minutes, asking a thousand questions. He's trying to guess where I'm from. And I instantly told him, I'm from Japan and he stopped dead in his tracks and his eyes got really big <laughs> and he ran to tell his parents it's hilarious then he came back and he kept walking in front of me and just staring in my eyes and finally I told uh, uh, I told Jethro to translate uh, that because I have blue eyes I have x-ray vision and then he freaked out again and ran back to his parents <laughs> I'm scaring the poor child are you tired already yeah we've been walking for how long maybe 45 minutes ice cream Maybe a little ice cream can recharge me, recharge me. Yeah. Now we're hunting for ice cream? Yeah. So we got to the other end of the island, and we're on our way up there to see a giant rock, if you can see it. And that is a statue that is actually someone's head. It's kind of like Mount Rushmore. Yeah, it's a big rock. Kind of reminds me of Beethoven. Do you know Beethoven? Beethoven, yeah, I know. Yeah, kind of like Beethoven. <laughs> An Asian Beethoven. <laughs> so can I hop the fence and go take an Instagram photo over there? No. Where? Over there. No, okay. What would happen if I did? Nothing happened. Oh, they would just remove me and say, no, no, go back. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. No, I can't do it. <laughs> So it's insanely windy today, and so we're trying to figure out if we want to fly the drone today. I'm kind of nervous. I've never been in super high wind before, so I don't know. I don't know what would happen. So compared with that day, I mean, it's on the beach. This this is windier. Really? Yeah, this is like really windy. And remember, remember the footage on the beach. The yeah, it kind of moved a little bit. Same. It's, this is worse. So I don't know. What do you think? Yes? No? Yes. So, so basically, we keep debating yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. We finally came to decision yes, because I went on Google. This drone is rated for 22 miles per hour wind. According to Google, right now, the average wind speed is 18 miles per hour, even though it feels like I'm going to blow away. So, we're going to try. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Try, try, try. <laughs> So despite the beautiful footage, uh, I was a bit nervous flying. Uh, <laughs> constantly on my screen, it's it's beeping and letting me know that there's high wind velocity everywhere, and certain sensors weren't working. 
Oh my god, all these problems. But anyway, that's over with. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah nobody died. Anyway, so now where are we going? What are we doing? Just return back, we're going to go yeah, finish this journey. Finish the journey. Yeah, we're going to buy uh, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> buy ice cream. All of the signs are blowing over. The sign almost hit you when you were up there walking past here. There's a big sign that tipped over and like almost hit people. Windy, yeah? Yeah, Crazy. so windy. Have power now. Yeah, you have energy after the ice cream? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, that's this was green. It's not so good at your space. Mm. It's still ice cream, but it's okay. So they have like a garden here. There's like many different types of trees. I don't know what time they are. Ah, these are... Ah, more of the pomelo things, maybe. Yeah. And then maybe oranges. I'm not sure. Limes. Who knows? And water is sprinkling everywhere in the yeah, like this. And then the wind blows, and everybody gets wet for a moment. Oh, hurry! It's coming. Go, 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 go! <laughs> We're gonna get the by the water. Look at this! Everybody just got soaked. Whoa, Jamie, show you how. Go. <laughs> you, you weren't paying attention. Nobody was paying attention. Oh, Brock was. So we just walked through a little mini park full of statues created out of car parks. Yeah. Was there any significance to that, or like just a exhibition show? But why choose car parks? Just random. Right now, we just show their environmental or something. Protect the environment. So I had to put on my coat because, like, the temperature dropped and the wind has been consistent, and eventually I started to get cold. Are you cold yet? Not yet. Not yet. But it's getting chilly for me. I even see people around me. Some of them are wearing jackets. They're they're cool. It's probably close to I don't know 68 degrees, something like that today. I don't know. It's not the warmest. So we're getting on a boat soon, yeah? Yeah. And the boat just kind of goes around the island? Yes. Okay. Cool. Let's go on a boat. So we made it onto the boat. So many people don't have warm clothing, so unfortunately everybody's like shaking and holding each other. <laughs> so there's only a couple people who brought coats, I guess. Lucky us. Anyway. Yeah, so how long is this cruise, do you know? I think uh, half an hour. Half an hour? Two minutes. An hour and a half we waited to go on a cruise that's going to last 30 minutes? I have no idea. Maybe 30 minutes. We don't know. I'm cold now, the wind, it's quite windy. You look like an Eskimo. Eskimo, what is that? Eskimo, an Eskimo. So what do you think it is? It's kind of warm, or grandma, or <laughs> is it animals? Yes. I don't know. So tomorrow we are going to go up there, yeah? Yeah. So that mountain, called Yue Lu Mountain. Mm. There's a very famous university there, Hunan University. It's your university. No, no, it's oh. not mine. It's much better than mine. My father graduated from that university. Oh, okay. Now that you know what an Eskimo means. Yeah, now I know yet. Yeah, you look like what? As Eskimo. 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 Yeah. Eskimo.
much it. Today was a very short video on this island over here. What was your favorite part about?